This is a uh, Sony STR4800 um, tuner, 70s era. Bought for spares and repair, needed a bit of work. Initially, I thought all it needed was doing was the uh, the pot, the volume pot tightening up, and um, so the turn control uh, knobs were loose, the, um, the, the the locking nuts were loose. It's amazing how people can carry on using an amplifier with the pot rattling about inside the front panel. As you can see, it's scraped around here where the volume controls been rattling around um, it works absolutely fine um, certainly on the FM side and I just tried uh, well, about an hour ago tried feeding in audio through the aux input and find it's totally dead so I've done the normal thing of running contact cleaners to the switch and I buzzed out the switch and I buzzed the switch all the way through and the switch comes to this awful board here and it all fits on the front of this set, so you had to pull the whole thing apart and disconnect the tuning dial, which I hate doing. It's always a real fiddle to get them back together. It's always a good idea to make photographs and of the, the way they're strung uh, when you do that. Anyway, I've taken the switch apart, and obviously the switches aren't replaceable. And here's one part of the switch here, and here's the other part. And let me show you what's happened. Where did I put it? Here it is. Obviously, someone's done something pretty gross to the auxiliary input, and that's why there's no connection. Can you see there when this camera's going to focus? I'm not trying manual focus. There you go. You see here that track's all burnt away there. That's the auxiliary input, and the auxiliary input for the right is that track there. So that looks like it's almost had mains on it. However, the connection looks okay. So, what I need to do is I need to link that back up and then try and rebuild the switch and put the thing back together again and uh, and just uh, see if it works. Hopefully the aux will, auxiliary input will work because it's a really nice old receiver this and it deserves to uh, be restored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a bit of copper, tin copper wire connection between those, those two boards, clean up that carbon and uh, we'll have a go and see if we can get this to work. Uh, once I've read that, read strung the dial and things, I'll, uh, I'll power it up and see how we get on.